In this segment of the videos, uh, all I want to show you is how I assign the hot loads to the water distribution piping within the building. First off, I start with the individual fixtures and I assign their hot loads, which I was able to again take from table 382.40, table 2. Uh, of course, this is a public building yet, so I went in and I found lavatory sinks found lavatory sinks, went over until I got to the hot column and found out that each line, each hot water line serving a lavatory sink had a load of 0.5 on it. I then continued through the rest of the fixtures and assigned their hot loads to their fixture supply and then just began to add those up and work my way back to the water heater. So I worked my way back. You can see I got to pipe number 11 and I was at 7 WSFU. Down here I picked up my kitchen sink, my dishwasher, service sink, pipe number 12. I was at 5 WSFU. Then I went to 12 and pipe number 11 connected with pipe 12. Working my way back at pipe number 17, I had picked up another 1.5 WSFU, so I was at 13.5. And then I went back to the left hand side of the drawing and I started to add in my lavatory sinks. I added in the hot side for the shower, which put me at 1.5. Then I added another individual lab. Then I added another individual lab. Then I added the lav from the bathroom group. So now this pipe right here is serving the hot load to the bathroom group, as well as three individual labs that are on the first floor. Then I continue to add my way back. And you can see I've got answers. And eventually I got to pipe number 15, and I was at 6.5 WSFU. That six and a half tied in with the 13 and a half that was at pipe number 17 for a grand total of 20 WSFU. Whatever comes out of the water heater has to go into the water heater for WSFU load. So if there's 20 on this line, there would be 20 WSFU on the cold water line. 